I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Mr. Lyon, who wants to know what I think about young adult books of supernatural romance. Now, I suspect Mr. Lyon is trying to get me to talk about a particular series dealing with the iridescent undead, but I have opined about that ad nauseum, and I see no need to discuss it further. I will, however, use this as an opportunity to talk about the very idea of young adult fiction. I recognize that readers must begin somewhere, and it makes a certain sense that our bookstores and libraries have a space set aside for children's books, books meant for children, even if they are enjoyable by adults, but things like Where the Wild Things Are, or Pop on Pop, or the Satanic Verses. But then, once the readers begin to graduate, let them go into the wider world. Why do we usher them into this, this literary ghetto where they're beset by bland pablum dealing with pretty young people doing pretty young things? It's beyond me. When I was growing up, we were exposed to as wide a variety of books as we could find, and I think the same should be done today. We should get rid of the young adult section altogether, defy the marketers and their mania for taxonomy. If we must keep it, then let's show these young people that we have a higher opinion of them than we currently display. Let's sprinkle their sections with Milton and Kafka and Bronte. Why, I even volunteer to have my own books and stories included in these young adult sections. You, you can uh, put on a brand new cover with some stark black image, or say that they're set in a far dystopian world. Actually. I, I was writing in the 20s and 30s, so you really wouldn't have to change anything there. Hopefully, that will help. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.